Hmm, you sounds like you have a quest for me. Well, looks like things went okay after all, seeing as you're walking around freely. Yeah, that all went down a lot more smoothly than I thought it would. No one is letting us head back out on the ter terms that we never mentioned this place. Well, like I said, you guys did us a tremendous favor getting rid of that beast. I'm sure Elise was able to convince him of your trustworthiness. Speaking of favors, will you two be willing to help me out with a test before you head out? I know it's asking a lot considering the sheer amount of help you've already given. Fill me in. If you haven't gathered already, we've had some major sewer line issues lately. And sealing, uh, seeing as this is our only immediate source of water, it's become a problem. Due to the clogging, we sometimes go for days without water. I believe the issue lies beyond just the pipes on the outer walls of the caves. All of those pipes lead to Ulfan's old sewer system. A sewer dungeon? I want to go in and scope the area for the source of the problem there. I've asked for help from the residents here, but no one is up for the trip. Everyone's terrified to venture in because of the strange webs covering the entrance. That's where you two come in. When you're ready, meet me at the sewer entrance. It's back through the caves near the church where you two came in from. You should go grab Nikolai while I talk it over with the guards. Well, isn't Nikolai already back in my party? We're going to help Matisse investigate Olfen sewers. What? Shouldn't we be heading back up and making our way to Scood? Matisse and the others were nice to just let us walk. It's the least we can do. Some Solomons would just kill us on sight after trespassing for their home. Plus, it's a good way of building up our reputation here. Make them owe us a favor or two. What if we have to stroll back through? Wouldn't it be nice to be welcomed in? You make a pretty good point. Alright. Let's head, lend, a, lend a hand then. I'll get my equipment ready and meet you outside when I'm ready. Hmm. Seriously, shops, man? I might as well head right in. Can't seem to find any shops. You. Well, let's get on with it then. Hey, it's a boss room. Oh wow, are they scavenging? Man, I don't envy their job. <laughs> Guessing this is our way into the sewers. Yeah, so he, he will k keep you on track in terms of direction. Took it upon myself to go ahead and open up the entrance. No turning back now. Come on. Let's get this done quickly. Matisse has joined, so, uh... Temporary party member. As you journey through the lands of Dia, you will undoubtedly meet new and unique characters. These characters may join the party temporarily as a result of a side quest you've taken on, or even play a role in the main story. Temporary characters will not level up with you, nor will they be able, you will, will you be able to view their stats, skills, or modify their sub in any way. However, they will be of great use to you while in the party. Okay, but what? how does Matisse gain fortitude? That's... If I don't know that, then I'm gonna have a hard time in battle with him. Hmm... I can't view his stats for real. He's kind of like the robot in a way. But if I don't know his... Uh, seriously, they didn't even tell me his fortitude gimmick. Maybe he'll tell me if I talk to him. Oh, what the? Look at this. There, there, there's one, two, three, four different paths? Even more? We should figure out a way to cut off the water pressure for these drains. They're blocking our path. Is there a north path, too? It's a box. I see. I won't be able to access certain paths uh, until I drain the water somehow. 
Which one do I want to go into first? Just... Enemies don't seem to respawn, so YOLO. Oh no, there's gonna be worms here. But I must press this big shiny button. Only two worms. Wow, this guy's stronger than us. These guys didn't need us at all to kill the enemy. To kill the previous boss. Wait, he doesn't even have a Sportitude gauge. In that case, then that makes things easy. He doesn't have to worry about being weakened if he screws up. He, his commands. He gets... Uh, am He gets his own ammo, huh? Blunt strike. But... Oh, man. Sure shot. 100% accuracy, but costs a bit of ammo. But I don't think he can reload easily. Hmm. Probably just go with nail that just to be safe. He's... Hmm, his basic attack is not as strong. Maybe it's just for this particular enemy. You provoke. Get the fortitude. Yeah! I forgot, were, were these guys weak against... I think they were weak to Fermal. I don't remember. Hmm. Finish him. Lair. Ooh! Nice. I didn't get any bonus experience. Looks like some sort of activation switch. Should you check out the machine to my left? Press release for valve two. Pressure release for valve two. Current status locked. Unlock. Yeah. Hopefully this won't. Wait, what? Huh? Um, what? How do I do this? Enemies so far don't seem to be much of a threat, other than maybe the bats. Huh? What's in this room? Heavy equipment. There's a valve here. Lock tight. Some rang above. Pressure valve one. <sighs> Tells me nothing. So let me try it down here. To lower subwoofer pressure for the drains, you'll need to release the locks in each corresponding valve release rooms. Cheat sheet enable conf config term no shut p val. Oh, I better take a screenshot or something. Oh, I get it. The number. The number. Yeah, so first let's just do the normal, the first two str easy strings. Enable. C 
config term. Okay, at this point, I need to... Uh, at the end of this string, I need to put... Also, add a number. I don't know why every time I backspace, it takes out two characters. That's... That's been a thing in a lot of RPG Maker 2003 games. It's really weird. No shut. P V A L. I think it's two that we're looking for. I hope they're not counting from zero. P V L two unlock cute. Activate it right hand terminal. No need to touch us again. Okay, let's take a look at the situation in the main room. Oh, what the? I didn't even realize there was something here. What? The? How would most people see that? What? To make it a little more clear that we can actually go up this path. We could find a way to drain the water. We'd go down these ladders. I wouldn't trust waiting about in this. Which number is this one? Okay, there's gonna be more cocoons here. Okay, which one is this one? Valve 1. Okay, so just repeat the procedure. Hope it's that simple. Enable. My F my words per minute here must be really bad, even worse than in real life. In real life, I can type about 50 consi words per minute consistently. But here it's like one word a minute. No shut. He... Val. One. I hope I didn't screw anything up by trying to go for the s for Valve Two first. I don't know. Maybe I drowned us all. Still can't get past that water. Hmm. I hope that helped. Good job! The drain is clear now. We can finally venture further. Action! Well, that's a little ominous. I didn't have a cheat sheet this time. Map of sewer system. Oh, good. Pressure to... <laughs> Wait, what the heck is going on here? I the corner got ripped off. What? Huh. Oh, wait, that one was pressure valve 2. Pressure valve 1. Where we release both locks. Workers area. Main drain emergency flush. That's where we need to head. 
Oh, I see. I was actually... That was weird. Hmm. Good job. Rain is clear. Okay. See, the path north up there is cleared out. <laughs> Here goes. There was that one room down there I wasn't able to get to. Auto save. That's. That's. Caution, emergency water flush. Activate only in case of emergency clog or scheduled maintenance cleaning. Hmm. I want to check what's in this room first. Door is locked. Must be a key around here somewhere. Okay, then we activate the flush. Why do they want me to autosave here? That's a little weird. Okay, so we're not done exploring yet. We need to find our way to the main drainage area. That's most likely where the source of the clog will be. Maybe the key is in the workers' room. Let's head there immediately. Is there anything I, I can get by going down here? There's something lodged on the floor here! Yes! Yes! More treasure, because there is no shop and this is literally my only source of medicine. Damn, that was a tricky one to find. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything else I should worry about in the previous rooms. These boxes. These boxes are likely light enough to push. We could make a bridge for up top. Really? Why can't... Oh. There we go. I can't get to the other side. Can only push them one way? Okay, so if I ever need to reactivate that... Oh, I see. It was just to get onto there. Okay, I'm sure there's a... Might be a mini-boss waiting for us. Oh, hey, what's this? Any treasure? No? Oh man, I was probably was clever there. Very well, let's continue. I don't see any enemies in here. Weird. Too good to be true, huh? I see a dead dude. And the mon. What the? What's that enemy? What? The boss is here already? What on dia? What just happened? Hey, did that. Hey, he dropped a key. How convenient. Did he dropped any. What the hell was that thing? I guess I can't go in the giant hall. Damn. That scared me. I was like. Well, I thought that he would, the boss would appear closer to the autosave area. Damn, we are in for a fight. Is this a bug-type enemy? Should I be using... thermal on it? Or should I use Galvanic? Use the sewer key. The M has been discarded. Oh, come on. We Don't discard a key. Someone else might need it later. Hmm. Well. I think I found the source of the clog. Ah. Uh. Back away! Get in the formation! No! Not this thing again! It's a bug type. I think we need to use Fermal here. I've got a bad feeling about this, guys. Ah, oh, he moves 
Oh, um, if he's gonna move that quickly, I should just... I should just have him use predict so that he has a chance to e e evade. Ugh. He's kind of desperate. I feel like I should just unload here. He can use items too if he wants. How many Adrenosols do I have? Is it worth... It might be worth trying to get Adrenosols on everyone when possible. Hmm. Yeah, use Adrenosol on yourself. I'm not, no, what if I need Adrenosol for my... Dang it, I don't... I'm conflicted. Should I use it now? Because if I have to do it on everyone, they'll take three uses of Adrenosol. Ugh. Is it even... Is a 25% point boost even worth it? Problem is, I don't know when, when I can buy my next Adrenosol. You know what? Might as well. I'm pretty sure if it's an optional boss, it's going to be even tankier than the previous one. Do it. Oh, you do have an item usage sprite. Nice. Who's he attacking? Hmm, he was already at... Oh, he's webbed up. Bound. Adrenosol. How long does Bound last anyways? Probably, hopefully only for one turn. Otherwise, it could, he could stun us all and just get away with it. Uh, it feels bad using this many items, but gotta do what I gotta do, huh? Please be Fermal, please be Fermal. Please don't be an element I have yet to obtain. Okay, good, it's Fermal. Yep, he is tanky. He hits really hard. His speed is not quite as high as the previous boss, but still. Definitely gonna want that. A good thing I, I think Adrenal Soul will be worth using here. Resistant to provoke and predict? That's not good. That completely fucks up my strategy. He's still bound. Six hundred. Fermal. Oh, here, here it comes. AOE? No, he good. He only oh no, it really wasn't AOE. That dick. Ugh. But at least he took some damage. I'll get his rush up, up, up higher. Let's realize does the enemy. Uh, oh, that's right. He's not gonna have a. Matisse would not have a rush. Well, Tamo. Hmm. Wait, we need to check the previous footage. I need to check if it's Pierce or Blast that he's weak to. Switching the Pierce rounds. Okay, good. We don't share the same rounds. That, that actually helps. And that also means that Matisse will be effective in terms of damage. Blair. <laughs> Unload. Aha! Okay, here comes this big Chungus attack. It always hits multiple people. Hold on, I need to check something one more time. Okay, there is nothing worth stealing from this guy. Hmm. 
blood loss. I wonder if that'll actually proc on it being like you. Which missed, but I still got the uh, got fortitude for it. Provoke is supposed to be bad against him. Does that mean he uh, probably because of his AOE move, huh? Yeah, this is gonna be tough. If I, he's got multi-target attacks, my usual tactics won't work here. I may have to just have him do solo rushes because I can't count on the other dude getting his rush in on time. Hmm. That's it, huh? Well, burn nothing. Shoot some more ammo into its skull. What the? Ugh. Hey, how come you never target Matisse? Oh shit! I need to use an. I need to use a an actual good item. Damn it! I didn't know he could hit someone twice. How about you just sprout the damage among both of us? Metasol. I'm gonna have to have Robo dude heal after that. I want to conserve OP. Blood loss. Telemed. He lost a little bit of hit points at the start of his turn. Oh no, what he he webbed me up. Missed. Waste of ammo. I was hoping it'd be a multi-hit attack that would at least... Ugh. Uh, oh no, an AOE! Shit! That was way too much. But it delayed him by a lot, didn't it? Blood loss. I want to play it safe. Meta Soul Self. Damn, really would be nice to have some group heal in here. Who should I heal first? Helmet. How much does Adrenaline Jolt heal by? 25% of my hit points? No, that's just, that's how much it costs. Telemed. Just 
keep shooting until it dies. That is the strategy. Oh no! Oh, he hit wow, he actually attacked Matisse this time. Damn it, this is bad. Maybe I should have invested more in hit points. I need a medicine now. Hey, it actually contributes to fortitude. Good. Now we can do a double rush. And now I want to unload on you. Punisher! He's almost dead. I can't actually see the rest of his hit point bar. Victory is ours, even if we have to spend some items like a noob. Oh, I almost got the two times experience! Almost! I should drag it out a little more! No! So this is the effect ethereal disease has on living creatures. My god! What exactly did you think of this, uh, this was before, human? Something else? Probably some random bug. Maybe the leader of an insect pack. I'm not sh quite sure, but I'm certain it had a human-like face. If a fusion of human and bug. If this ethereal disease managed to change this creature in only 10 years... Matisse, just what is ethereal disease? According to Ragus, it's something that naturally occurred after the calamity. Is, is this it's worse than radiation? Ragus spent a great deal of time outside collecting data on the effects of it. It's Ragus' theory that its effect on creatures vary. There are normal creatures still roaming the outside world, and then there's... Well... Whatever this is. This... Disease. It also seems to affect the world itself in some areas. I'm sure you've come across places on your travels. Rotten soil, dead grass. Is it... Contagious? If so... Has anyone or anything overcome this disease? Unfortunately, I'm unable to answer those questions. You've been awfully close to some boss corpses. I'm a little worried, Nikolai. We simply haven't had enough time to make any objective statement on the matter. I think we should practice social distancing for the rest of the journey. Well, hopefully we can learn more once we reach the city of Scoot. I'm hopeful you'll find more answers there. Let's not waste any more time here. I'll gather some workers from the residence to help clean up this mess. Sounds good. We need to be on our way anyway. Anyhow. I have not had to steal from a single enemy yet. They don't have any loot. Matisse left the party. You'll have to wait to re-enter the caves. We have people sweeping the area now. Thank you for all your help, though. Yeah, that was intense. Okay, that marker is just showing that I cleared his quest, but let's talk to him again. Your help is greatly appreciated by myself and all the residents here. Please. Accept what will we could scrape to get his reward. Metasols, please. Well, time six. I think I used less than that, so that means I made a net profit. Last rounds. Pierce rounds. How about Adrenosol? 1,500 credit. Oh, come on. We don't have any shops. What do you expect us to do with that much money? If there was an Adrenosol seller, then that would be great, but there's none. Alright, time to move on with the main story, huh? 
I suppose we should get, have a look around. See what the locals have to offer. Unless they're ready to go, of course. Shh, offer? They, they don't even have shops here. I can't use my money for anything. Unless I'm missing something here. Alright, let's see how much more of the game we have. No one has allowed you to use the exit. Back to Upper Ulfan. Once you have to back up, we'll seal off the entrance back in, in for protection. Are you sure you're ready to head up? Well, you, I, I, don't, I can't see anything else I can really do. I don't see any other quests or shops. Ready. Maybe I'll find some traveling merchant on the road, if I'm lucky. Guess this is it, then. Guess so. Wait a minute. You got his name wrong in the text box. It sh instead of Olfen, uh, instead of Nikolai, it should be Estes. So long, Olfen. After you. You reached in a demo. Wait, really? Dang, I thought I was gonna have to like fight the horde of bandits be right before the end. Thank you so much for playing, and I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the experience. If you have any complaints, suggestions, bug reports, or overall feedback, please direct them to me on rpgmaker.net slash users slash giznads. Thank you again for playing. Full release expected winter 2022. Gizans. Okay, and goes back to the title screen. Yep, I've done all I could. I guess maybe the shops are going to be a little difficult to implement because they're going to need their own custom UI like most of the other menus in this game. Even so, I feel like maybe you could have, like, one... I feel like for the side quest, maybe it would be helpful to have, like, one NPC who could sell a few s supplies or crafting materials. Maybe if they're only just selling medicines, even that would be... even that would be better than nothing, I feel like. Credits. Press... <laughs> okay. Giznad's NTC Free, who is missing right now. They're gonna have to find a new writer. Jay Kendricks. Main programming, Giznad's. Assisted programming. Pepsi Otaku Cherry. There's a lot of familiar looking names here. Yeah, let's have some help from the rest of the community. Custom Graphics, Giznads, Tiger Robocop, and IGBSS. Original score by Giznads. Like, maybe Giznads is also a musician. Special links. Maybe these are people who, uh, who talked about the game and played it too. The entire RPGMaker.net team. Okay, anything else for this one? Whoa! There was more? Hmm. No, I don't think so. It just forces everything to move downwards, no matter how far it progressed. So, if you had completed wa watching the credits, then all of it would just come flying down at once. Alright, this was actually a pretty good demo, other than the... Even with the lack of shops, for the most part, the game gives you enough supplies to beat everything. And the enemies don't respawn either, so it's... As long as you're not deliberately playing horribly, you're probably going to be able to win with at least a few supplies left over. Just don't use the Adrenal Souls for anything other than boss battles. Actually, I probably could have used Adrenal Souls on the very first enemy. Since I actually had two left by the end of the demo. That's probably what those two were for. But I beat the tutorial boss without the Adrenal Souls, so... Yeah, I guess I saved... Uh, save some resources there. Yeah, it's most uh, those two extras are mostly there just so you can get more DPS just for that one battle, I guess. Hmm, the bat enemies are definitely pretty OP compared to a lot of the others due to their speed. They're even faster than the uh, uh, than the fastest boss, the uh, the the worm queen. They don't hit very hard, but even then, if they a lot of them tar target Estes at once, his fortitude will drop. 
Of course, if you have, it's, they're also good for farming up Nikolai's fortitude. Yeah, like, uh, we'll have to. Uh, yeah, that's why I need to remember to use the dodge uh, uh, essays dodge move more often. Yeah, I'm really glad this was a CTB game. Do the enemies damage? I don't think if this was a, an ATB game where I had to input everything really quickly, I, I'm not sure I could have made it with the enemy damage being scaled the way it is. With CTB, I get all the time in the world to think about my actions, get and get to the item menu to heal up my party and outdo the boss in the battle of attrition. With ATB, I I'd be tripping all over my fingers. Unless they implemented full weight, in which case I won't trip over my fingers, and it'll be functionally similar to CTB anyways. <laughs> also, I really like how there's actually animated enemy battlers. Almost every other RPG Maker game I've played have animated party members, but not enemies. Yeah, I think as long as you maybe s somewhat speed up the uh, the awkward pause between each turn and maybe make it faster to get to the uh, through the title screen, this would be a pretty solid game. Oh, and yes, I uh, I saw that uh, the uh, uh, the developers comment that they're go going to add more save slots in the future, which will hopefully take uh, make it a little less anxiety inducing to go through any points of no return. This, this is a short demo, so having only one save slot is fine. Plus, this, uh, uh, plus the, for the most part, resource management is pretty easy. So even if you did miss a few of the, uh, a few items here and there, I think you'd still be able to beat the demo. You'd still have enough uh, enough starting items, anyways. Anyways, thanks for watching this let's play of Nihilo de demo. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and maybe try out the demo for yourself.